All right, what is going on, guys? So today, a couple days ago, I tested out um, the one-click citation software. Let me tell you right now, not impressed. That's the final verdict. But if you want me to go through and dissect exactly why, keep watching. Um, yeah, this is my complete Citation Vault review. If you guys appreciate me doing this, please comment Citation Vault for the YouTube algorithm so we can rank for their brand name. Uh, that should be fun. And I'll keep you guys posted if we do rank. All right, so that's it. Uh, for the next, I think we averaged two minutes. For the next two minutes, I'll be eating creatine and reporting numbers from the day before. That's not everyone can stomach that, but the true ones really sit through it. So here we go. Nice. Here we go. Alright, so yesterday we did 3.3k in total revenue. That's down $400 from the day before. Amazon at 1220, Mediavine at 133, and OnlyFans at 1973. Yeah, pretty pretty good day. Um anything above 3k is a good day. Huge drop from the day before, and I'm gonna show you via the granular numbers. Let's do this. Cool. So order revenue, 22.6K. Um, I multiply 22.6 by 54 because we make about $54 for every $1,000 of ordered revenue. So it, it comes out to like 5%. Um, it can be higher or lower, but typically it's just 5%. All right. Um, Levanta from the 25th, we're at $200. Um, yeah. Still on the uptrend, up 73%, 74% month over month. I feel good about this. I feel really good. I'm feeling optimistic. Um, general sentiment in the industry is good. SG is missing the mark. We might be okay if we leverage partnerships. Small blogs are still clapped. All your favorite niche site owners have transitioned to social media paid newsletters small local blogs your boy's still out here in the stadium in the arena testing out things so make sure you subscribe anyways let's talk about today's episode if you want to follow along sign up for the first link in the description and uh, we're on episode 227 you guys sent this i highly recommend i'm going to send you a new url in uh from marketingletter.com i think it's hello at marketingletter.com and i highly recommend you bookmark it or just save it in your apple notes or something like that all right so let's talk about it my general sentiment is to avoid this software i'm not a fan of it and the reason is the citations actually don't get indexed and if you want to do some digging which i will in a couple seconds you can check all the previous uh, listings under citationvault.com slash location. You can find them all uh, via this. Let me show you one second. So either by going into citationvault.com slash location like this. Yeah. 3,000 pages. So a lot of people have been doing it. As you can see, a lot of uh, duplication here. Not great. And then you can just do site citationvault.com slash location and you can see all the results. And what's interesting, what's very interesting to me is it only yields 30 results. What does that mean? Of the 3,000 pages, only 30 of them get indexed, which is pretty shite. All right. Plus... Um, yeah, it's, it's just not great. Anyways, the whole premise behind Citation Vault, it's a great idea, poor execution because it doesn't get indexed. So there's no like value in it. And what it does is once something like this goes live, 
they have a network of 300 other sites that simply mirror this. So you can see this by um, what I did is I threw in like the URLs from the location pages into the backlink section and they just take a look at them. All right. So what I did was I identified the pages that uh, mirror the citation vault page. For example, easylisting.com found this. You're like, okay, that's, you know, this could work, right? Because it's a citation. Like it's a, all you need is name, address, and phone number consistency across the internet. And that's great for local SEO, right? The idea is so good. It's just, I don't know why they don't have it indexed. So I tracked it, you know, you see these, you're like, oh yeah, that's seems pretty good on paper. Um, maybe I wouldn't want this to be uh do follow cause it's do follow right now. Could be, could get a, could get pretty spammy, you know? Um, and it's like the same, uh, content on every page is, it's a sim like a, it's quite literally a mirror. I'm going to guess. And you can also see the other, um, you can also see the other pages. So I think a couple things first off kind of sketchy, but that's fine. We, we like, uh, we appreciate sketchy here. Second of all, if you go into the sheet and that I sent you t today, I threw into a couple examples of the domain into uh, site colon Google, which looks for the index of the site and they're not even indexed. Kind of weird, right? Kind of weird. So what does that mean? That means <clears throat> these pages aren't even indexed. So there's like literally zero benefit to it. And uh, I look into other pages from the past, also not indexed. I'm, I'm kind of confused. Like what, what is going on here? There's zero benefit in this software. And obviously for that reason, I canceled, but it's, they have a free trial. So do they ex expect people to actually stay? This does quite literally nothing. So for that reason, guys, um, I tried it on your behalf. So you didn't have to, you guys owe me a citation vault comment. And someone needs to recreate this product because there's a need for it. I might, I'm looking into it right now. Someone needs to recreate this. There's a need for it. It's useful. And what needs to happen. Okay. Here's what needs to happen. The software needs to create 300 citations. Fine. Right? <clears throat> 300 citations means 300 domains means three like maintenance costs, hosting, so on and so forth. How much is that? 300 let's say 20 bucks a domain, which is high on the high end. That's six K a year plus, plus, uh, hosting costs, maybe 10 K a year in hosting costs. All, they all need to be different IPs. If I were to do something like this, quote unquote properly, have it all indexed, different IPs. I can make it look exactly the same. Like, uh, if the schema is correct, would you guys be interested in this? If so, I could look into it. If, if you think there's no need for it and you are fine with paying a fiber guy five bucks for 50 citations, then I'll, I'll just take a step back. The thing, the good thing about this is if it's running properly, it's instant. You're, you're done. Like you just fill in the details and you're done 300 citations every time. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? Uh, I think pretty good idea. I think still overall, it's a good idea. Maybe I'm missing something here. Let me guys. All right. Let me know if I'm missing anything. Anyways, that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to answer some questions from the day before. I guess, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Building an affiliate site or rank around with only fiber gigs would be fire. Yeah, could do. I wouldn't spend that much. Rank around is so easy. Oh God, guys, rank around is so easy. It'll take like three seconds. Buy a design. 
Okay, so by design, by citations, by PBN backlinks as citations, by shitty contextual tier three links. One and done. That's all you need for exact match domain. I'm trying to think like what I'm missing right now. I could even buy a GMB on Fiverr. There's GMB gigs on Fiverr, guys. And then I think you can buy fake reviews still. Buy fake logo, like buy a logo design, but I won't even need a logo design. Just go on five Canva. Oh, God. If you guys really want me to do it, I, I can do it, but come on. Gotta do the two phone trick. I phone strictly. One phone is strictly for personal, second phone for business, work life chart. Neither phone is overloaded. I might actually keep my old phone as a camera, just always there. I don't know. We'll see. That's your experiment. Keep up the great videos. If you're helping a client rank and taking a cut from revenue generated, how would you actually measure how much you take or keep track of sales if it's like an offline based like wedding photography? <clears throat> There's ways. You can track... You can create like, use a cheap CRM to see like if deals are closed, <clears throat> check uh, contact forms. I would charge per lead. I wouldn't charge per closed sales because after the lead is in the door, it's not really your fault. It's not really your like job to close it, right? All right, Jackie, what is exactly you... What, what do you exactly do to make such bank? Is it SEO and ranking niche sites? If not, can you teach me what you do so I can have similar income? I talked about this so much, guys. Partnerships, partnerships, and partnerships. All right? I stopped talking about it after getting clapped a couple times. But where, where the hell do you think my income still comes from? Come on, guys. I mean, you're probably new here, so it's fine. Oh, side note. <clears throat> Yesterday, um, yesterday's live stream, I set it so only subscribers can comment. I think I'll be doing that in the future. Anyways, um, I think that's all the time I have for today, guys. Appreciate you guys commenting. If you guys don't mind, give this video a like if you watch till the end. So, you know, if you watch till the end, give it a like. So I know like how many people actually stay to the end. I think it's like about 30 or 40 people per video but it's fine like i don't i don't i don't really care about these numbers at this point um and comment citation vault for the youtube algorithm and at this point majority of you guys are subscribed i think let me let me check returning viewers 300 out of 600 it's fine da, da, da. let me see let me see how do I check the subscribed? Why am I, why am I such a boomer? Yikes. I don't even know. Oh, here we go. 76%. So majority of, of you guys are actually subscribed, which is interesting because I think on other people's videos, it's like more like 40% are, are subscribed. Anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm on a tangent. See you guys tomorrow.